Deep within a bleak and dismal swamp, hidden beneath its murky waters, lies the headquarters of the most sinister villains of all time. The Legion of Doom. Hi all, welcome back to The Brave and the Boys with another solo video with your host, me, Brave Boy Jordan. Today, as in the title, I wanted to go over the synopsis and my thoughts on Dan Slott's run of Silver Surfer. So, let's get into it. This run on Silver Surfer first started releasing in 2014 and as stated, the author of this run is critically acclaimed Dan Slott. The art and colors are by the dynamic team of Michael and Laura Allred. We start our cosmic adventure on this little planet called Earth, which we see these twins and their father making a wish on a shooting star. Little do they know that this shooting star is actually the previous Herald of Galactus. A little over a decade later, the Silver Surfer, Norn Rad, is summoned to become the champion of the Impossible Planet, also known as the Empiricon. As an additional precaution, the leader of the Empiricon teleports the most important person in Silver Surfer's life to hold as hostage to just to make sure that the surfer has motivation to win his next battle. The surfer does not know who this person is, but he does feel responsible for their safety and well-being. Because of that, he seeks out the person in order to save him, and when he first comes in contact with her, he finds out she is Dawn Greenwood, which he's not too familiar with her and doesn't know how she's the most important person in his life. First meeting Dawn, he is there to try to let her know, like, I am here to save you, but little does he know that it's actually Don, that's going to be the one saving him. At the end of this adventure, Nornrad offers Don to travel the stars with him. Thus, our adventures continue now with the team of Silver Surfer and Don Greenwood. Let's start with my spoiler-free thoughts on this run. First of all, please go read this book. Silver Surfer by Dan Slott is definitely going in my top five reads of all time. Slott does a fantastic job of humanizing this incredibly cosmic character, and the writing is just so well done. It is prevalent to say that this run takes heavy inspiration from the series Doctor Who. Uh, the similarities run from individual issue structures dealing with new adventures, just like the Doctor Who series, to having a very powerful cosmic alien being paired with a strong human woman companion just like Doctors 9, 10, 11, 12, pretty sure 13, but I haven't watched any from that series yet. I do have to say that the character Don Greenwood reminds me most of the Doctor's companion Rose Tyler, which she's my personal favorite companion. Since we're dealing with the Silver Surfer, of course we will be dealing with some sci-fi cosmic adventures where not only the Earth will be in danger, but the entire universe and even eternity itself. Slot does an amazing job of incorporating everything presented in this story to seem one-off, but in the end does a great job of tying it all together. Getting into the art, I love the artistic direction of Michael and Laura Allred. I've been a huge fan of their work since I first read iZombie, which is published by DC Vertigo. Though I know some people would not agree with my opinion, I think Michael's more classic cartoony art style and Laura's bold and vibrant choice of colors fit this cosmic tale Perfectly. Now, I do want to get into some of my favorite moments in the book, so I do need to say that there are spoilers from here on out. I will put a chapter in the description for when I do finish talking about spoilers. Okay, now with the warning out of the way, let's talk about my top three moments of the book, and yes, one of them is going to be the ending because I'm a sucker for stories that come full circle. Alright, starting off my list, which is in no particular order, I want to talk about issue number 11 from the 2014 run, Never After. The Silver Surfer accidentally leads Galactus to the planet of refugees from all previous planets that Galactus had eaten. The Surfer must find the refugees a new world to live on. In this issue, Surfer creates a time loop that he and the ships of the refugees get stuck in. This issue is one of the most unique that I have ever had the pleasure of experiencing. Each page is broken into a top and bottom section that is read separately. Each side gives a different perspective of the time loop that the surfer had created. They show the different perspectives of every main character and side character and the choices that led them into the situation that they've become stuck in. Major props to the team on this run for executing something so complex and unique. My next favorite part has to be from issue 10 of Silver Surfer 2016, which is when they rebranded everything. In this issue, Galactus summons the surfer to be his herald once more. The twist is that this is Lifebringer Galactus. 
due to the events of Ultimates. Galactus tasked Norrin to take the Omega Ron to one edge of the universe and Dawn and Toomey to take the Alphex to the other side of the universe, thus doubling the amount of time that the universe has until it is destroyed when both parts come together. What Galactus does not explain is that there is no way for Dawn and Norrin to ever see each other again since they will both be on opposite ends of the universe and it would take more than a couple of lifetimes for them to reunite. The Surfer does not realize the consequences of his deed of saving the universe until it's too late. The Surfer then pleads to Eternity to grant his wish for him and Dawn to be reunited once again. Eternity does obey and he does it by touching his fingertips together, bringing together both ends of the universe temporarily for the two to be reunited. I love that Eternity wants Norn and Dawn to be together as much as the reader does. All right, to finish out my top three moments of the book, of course I had to talk about the ending. With Dawn's request to the surfer to take him back in time to allow her to say her final goodbyes to her departed dad, they end up getting stuck in the past before the beginning of their version of the universe. There they live out their days together, having adventures and discovering places that not even Norn has seen before. Dawn is still human and like all humans she too must pass on but Norn, due to the power of cosmic is immortal he outlives dawn and sits in the background for billions of years until finally he gets close to the point where they first traveled back in time together he gets the opportunity to see galactus born as a entity inside the universe in the deeds that he's participated in he gets the opportunity to spend more time with dawn with her through her childhood and teen years as a guest in the end that her father had ran. And there we see that the surfer was ever present in her life. And the story comes full circle. When I was reading this through for the first time, it had me in tears because it's such a beautiful ending and a celebration of life of Dawn as well as humanization of the silver surfer, a cosmic being that learns to have an emotional ride. I love the ending of this book and with all great books, it left me wanting more. I wanted to read more about the adventures these two had and all the fun and mischief that laid in between. If for some reason you have not read the book but you're watching this section, I am doing you a disservice. Please go read this magnificent piece of literature. I promise you will not be disappointed. Okay, I've been talking way too long already. Let's wrap up this video. Silver Surfer by Dan Slott is a remarkable story of two people that mean nothing to each other in the beginning but find the beauty in one another as well as the experiences that they share. Now, I wanna hear your thoughts on this run and what you think of Silver Surfer as a character in general. Please let me know in the comments down below. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. and Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, keep reading and stay bold.